guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Stephanie with Jambalaya Resell. I'm a full-time school librarian and a part-time reseller on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, Kittizen, and Facebook Marketplace. Today, I have a very short Goodwill all very short Goodwill Outlet haul for you. So if you don't know what the Goodwill Outlet is, it's also referred to as the bins, and it's where when things don't sell at the regular Goodwill location, um, the items go to the Goodwill Outlet where they are put into bins, or I like to call them troughs. It's like tall flat tables, and you get to dig through, and it's complete and utter chaos, but everything is sold per pound. So Prices vary based on your location, but my Goodwill outlet items are $1.69 a pound until you get to 25 pounds. And if you purchase 25 pounds or more, then it drops down to $1.49 a pound. So my usual strategy is to get there in the morning and go through the items that are already out and then wait until they change the items. They change them every so many hours at mine. At some Goodwill outlet locations, they change them more regularly. Mine have set times at which they change the items. So I usually try to stay through a change and that way I get to see, you know, um, two changes worth of items, double the inventory, double the choices, I guess. Anyway, that's my usual strategy. Well, the other day um, I had a meeting and my meeting got cut short. And so that gave me a little bit of time before I had to go pick my son up from the um, program he was at. And I was very close to the Goodwill outlet. Now, it was in the afternoon. I don't usually go in the afternoon because things have been picked over, but I headed there anyway. And usually my Goodwill outlet, um, they change the clothing out periodically, but they never change the hard goods out. Like whatever's out in the morning of hard goods. When I say hard goods, it's pretty much everything except clothes. Whatever's out is just out and that's all it is. So if you go late in the day, you're not going to have a good selection. Anyway, I wasn't expecting much and I seriously only had about 30 or 45 minutes to shop, which is very short time for the Goodwill outlet. But I went in and I surprisingly had a good haul, especially for it being so late in the day. So I'm going to show you the things I got now. I didn't get 25 pounds worth, so I did pay the $1.69 per pound. Um, and it came out to roughly $27. Uh, two of the things that I bought, I've already listed most of these things. Two of the things have already sold and I'm already in the profit from this trip. So this was one of my better trips, even though it was super short. All right. Um, let's get started. First, I'll show you, I got myself this pair of pants. I don't know. Let's see if you can see. Oh, you can't see. Let me step back. You can't see them very well. They're Old Navy linen um, chambray pants, and I actually just had to run into Kroger, and the cashier complimented my pants and wanted to know where I got them. I was like, uh, they're Old Navy. I can't take the time to explain the Goodwill outlet to everybody. Okay. Here we go. Here's everything else besides these pants. Um, so I picked up this colander. Oh, and the I call them buggies. Um, the shopping carts. The buggies were all gone uh, when I got there. So it's one of the things about getting there later in the day. They're all taken. So I found this colander and I was putting stuff inside it like a basket. And then um, I went over to the bag area and there was a reusable shopping bag that was in with the purses and stuff. So I got it so I could put my stuff in it. But anyway, this is a Made in USA aluminum colander. People make stuff with these all the time. I don't know. I haven't looked up comps on it. So I really don't know if it's valuable. I'm not thinking it is. Um, I'm thinking though that I may use it as a planter. So we'll see. I got this. I've seen people do cute, like, what do you do? You just hang this randomly on the wall. Um, I got this because I thought it was cute, and I think I may hang it in my office at work. I can't pass up baskets, and they're very on trend right now. People like to make a basket collage wall. So, um, and this is very lightweight. The wicker is in good condition. I mean, you're probably only going to get about $10 for a basket. The original Goodwill price on here was $1.99. 
I don't recommend picking up a basket at $1.99. I don't pay more than a dollar for baskets. This is um, GB Girls. What is that? G Gianni Benny? Benny? I don't know how to say it, but I know they sell it at, um, at Dillard's. And it's just like a little faux fur collar, which would be super cute for Christmas parties coming up. Okay, so none of that has been listed. Oh, and this hasn't been listed yet either. This, and it's really, it's too late for Halloween at this point, but it is a Native American, or this says Western Fringe Poncho. Um, it's just the top part. Let me pull the picture out. It's just this, the glare. It's just this top part is all it is. But you know what? I mean, it really, it might be good for um, Thanksgiving, like if people are doing little plays. So it's, I need to hurry up and list it. Um, this is Matilda Jane. So this is a Matilda Jane label here. Four thirty five is Matilda Jane. Um, it says very, very small under four thirty five. It says a Matilda Jane company. So this top, I love picking up Matilda Jane at the bins. Matilda Jane is very sought after. All right, I don't always pick up Chico's. I pick up Chico's Travelers because those um, have a following. That's one of their lines that, you know, kind of like wrinkle resistant. And sometimes I pick up Chico's to send to thread up. But this just regular Chico's label Oh my gosh, I can't get it straight. I just think it's so cute. It's like this cheetah print, and it's got like the necktie, like the little librarian style necktie. And it's just really sheer and flowy, and the sleeves are like tight around the wrist, but then flowy all down your arm. And I just think it's really cute. All right, this is just a bikini top. Y'all know I like to pick up swimwear, bras, lingerie. This is Shade and Shore, which is a Target brand. So probably get about $15 for this. I picked up this little Trolls, and I don't really know why I picked him up. He is like a McDonald's toy. Is he from... I was thinking he was from Trolls, but I think he's from Frozen now. Anyway, I just picked it up because it's small and my son likes stuff like that. Um, This is Lily Pulitzer, which I never find. And it was at the bins late in the day. Um, You can't really see. There you kind of can. It's Lily Pulitzer. It's got the spell out. It's got the spell out down the sleeve. It's so cute. I'm thinking this ought to sell for around 40 I got a bra here. This is Natori. Natori. This is a yoga bra. Let me clasp it so I can show y'all. Natori is a good underwear brand to be on the lookout for. Um, this, the yoga style bra, doesn't go for as much, so make it about $15 for that. This is a Bolo brand of pajama here. So you probably know about Nick and Nora. That's a great pajama brand. But I didn't really know about this company. This is the Beauf Beaufort Bonnet Company. And their label looks like this. It's like gold and it's like, you just see a bunch of bees. But I guess it's a bee and a, um, I guess it's two bees and a C in there. Maybe. Anyway, it's two bees for sure. So I picked up several pieces. Like there was one bin that had lots of pajamas and there were three different, three or four from this company. So this is a gown. It's a small and it's got like stork and baby print on it. So maybe like new mothers would wear this. I don't really know. The problem with this piece, and I didn't notice it at the store, and I don't know if I notice it in here, but I definitely notice it under my ring lights. Let me see if you can see. There is some small black stain on here. Almost like somebody was dyeing their hair and got a little bit of it on the shoulder of this gown. Um, it'll still sell probably for around $12 to $15. This, I just hit myself in the face with that, y'all. 
This is Gwen Stacy Spider Gwen, and it is a costume, and I got an offer on it today that was okay, and I kind of feel like I should have taken it now instead of countering, but that happens sometimes, especially with Halloween being so close. But I feel like people cosplay as this. This is a very popular cosplay. So I feel like I'm not pigeonholed into Halloween with this. And it will still sell year round. Um, in fact, we have friends that have a uh, themed Christmas party every year. But it's not Christmas themed. Like they do different dress up. And last year it was supposed to be Marvel. And I was supposed to go as Gwen Stacy, but not in this tight costume. I was going to be Gwen Stacy in the lab coat and the cute boots and stuff. Like, not this. You don't want to see me in this. But, um, anyway, it got canceled. And so, they're supposed to do it again this year, which is good because I think I still have all my costume pieces. Anyway, I feel like this will still sell. The problem is this does not have a size tag in it anywhere I have looked. So I just had to provide measurements. But I think I ought to get somewhere between $35 and $45 for that. All right. These are not great. I was thinking Ruffle Butts, which is a really good kids brand, but they're, these are Ruffle Girl. Maybe Ruffle Girl is affiliated with Ruffle Butts. I don't know. Here's the label. These are like a size X, XL for girls. And they're just like these little pants. So I think I should get about $15 for those. This Lululemon skirt. It's the Pace Setter skirt. Y'all, I never find Lululemon. And it's just chilling at the bins at the end of the sinking day. Nobody picked it up. And it's got the Lululemon symbol right there. Um, it's a size 8. I looked in the zipper. This already sold for, I think, $45. Once again, I paid a little bit, I paid $27 and some change for all of this. This pajama set already sold. It's the Beaufort Bonnet Company again, and it is this floral top and the floral bottoms. This sold for $20 for the pajama set. Um, more Beaufort Bonnet. I couldn't find the top for this. I dug all through the bins and looked, but the top wasn't there. But that's okay. They'll still sell. Same for this. These are Christmas pajama bottoms. And I could not find the top. They are also Beaufort Bonnet Company. Alright, I got a lot of plush. Um, so I got this little lovey. And he is... I pick up all loveys if you've been watching me for a while because they usually sell for me. Um, but some are better than others. This is Douglas Baby. I think he's just okay. This is Jelly Kitten. So Jelly Cat is a great brand. In fact, this is Jelly Cat right here. My son, when he was a baby, the Easter Bunny, brought him this bunny except in brown and he still has it in his closet this is the white jelly cat bunny this is what the tags look like for jelly cat this is a great bolo brand so be on the lookout for jelly cat items some are worth more than others i want to say this bunny is like a 25 dollars bunny i don't remember what i listed him for something like that but i never saw jelly kitten before and so, I guess Jelly Cat's little loveys for infants are Jelly Kitten. So, he's a good find. Um, this is along the same lines as a lovey. This is Mason Chic, which is a good brand to be on the lookout for. They make loveys and little things like that. Here's what their tag looks like. This lovey is mud pie he's a little puppy All right then i got some plush so gund is a decent gun's been around for like forever y'all know what the tag looks like on a gund gund is good because it tells you the name of whatever the plush is so this says grumpy cat and then it's got numbers 
So some gunned items are, they do pretty decent. Uh, Grumpy Cat, maybe like $12. Not going to do super great. Um, and then this is also gunned. This is Boo. He's okay. And then I got just two more things, guys. This is Mione by Aurora. And their tags, look they usually have tags around the animal's necks like that. Um, they do okay. Not anything great. But I just really like selling plush. And last, this is really awesome bat. So realistic looking animals when it comes to plush. If you have a realistic looking animal, those usually um, have a good following. This, I think, is the vampire bat. And he's bigger than a lot of the ones I saw comps for because his body is 11 inches and then his wingspan, really long wingspan right here. So he'll probably sell around $20 and he really doesn't weigh very much. All right, so that's all I got. Like I said, I'm super pleased. I wasn't expecting much, especially for a quick 30-minute run-through. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below, as well as the bell next to it, which will notify you every time I post a new video. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. I hope you have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you next time.